So Comitán is close to the Guatemalan border and they have a very large population of immigrants. They call it the floating population that are coming from Central America, Latin America, up through Mexico. They cross the Guatemala-Mexico border. They come here and some actually stay here. Some will, won't make it across the, to the U.S. and they'll come back and they'll stay here because they don't want to go back to their country of origin. So there are a lot of kids. That's what that means. There are a lot of students out here or school-age kids that don't have schools. And the president of the municipality here, Luis, has been trying to find a solution for them to make sure they have schools and they have a way to get a decent education. We're here in Ifraín, Comitán, where we are building a, an elementary school for about 190 kids. Uh, we'll be building two classrooms here. They've, we started uh, 10 days ago and this the side of the building is already there. Tomorrow we'll be pouring the slab or the foundation for the school. This is the site where the community has chosen to build their middle school. The middle school has 64 kids and we're going to be building a classroom, an additional classroom for the school. So here we go. We are in the village called the 20th of November. And this is a, an elementary school, a bilingual elementary school, where they speak a Mayan dialect and Spanish. And it's for 65 students. We are in San Martin, and this is an elementary school for 230 kids. And we're building a, an extra classroom for them because they're growing. Their students' population is growing so fast. So this has about eight days of work. They've now poured the foundation and they're just doing the finishing touch on the floor. And then next week we'll be putting in the, uh, the school classroom itself.